Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we went through throwing cylinders from one pound of clay. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few variations on how you can alter that one pound cylindrical form, just to give you a few ideas of the versatility of the clay and the various shapes that you can get whilst throwing with it. So, I've got my one pound piece of clay. I'm just gonna quickly run through the first few steps. If you want a more detailed breakdown of throwing that one pound cylinder, uh, go and check out the last video. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to run through all of that relatively quickly so that we can get onto the slightly more creative stuff. So, centering the clay, opening it up, closing it back in and lifting. Wooden rib on the outside, up and off the top. So we have here our basic cylinder form. So altering the form, we're gonna be continuing to use this wooden rib on the outside, uh, fingertips of the left hand on the inside. And it's just going to be a case of, as we work upwards from the bottom, up and off the top, the direction that we move our fingertips and the rib in will dictate the shape that we produce. So to create a more kind of rounded, bellied out form, as we lift up, we're gonna push outwards from the inside with those fingertips and allow the wood to be pushed outwards before curving it back in on itself. So one of the benefits of using the wooden rib is that because it's quite a low friction surface, you can use it on the outside without any water on there and it won't tend to drag. Because our skin tends to drag on the clay much more, I'm gonna to have to just get a bit of water on that inside just to stop it from dragging on my hand. So to belly the form out, I'm angling the wooden rib away from the piece, like this, so the clay is going to work outwards into this wood here. So as I'm starting to lift now, just gently pushing outwards into the wood, continuing to do so, still applying more outwards pressure from the inside, and then it's about here, I'm starting to draw back inwards with the wooden rib, and then up and off the top, just flaring outwards again slightly once we get up here. Tidying up that rim with our fingertip and thumb and our index finger on the right hand. So just to start off with, you can see how quick and easy it can be to start modifying the shape of the cylinder. I'm gonna, again, wet that hand, go back down to the bottom again and just continue to refine that form slightly. So hopefully this is starting to give you an idea of why we start out with boring old cylinders, because once you've got the hang of that basic technique, this is the stage at which you can start to get a bit more creative and start to have a bit of fun introducing some curves to those cylinders. So that is the first shape I'm going to throw using the corner of the trimming tool here, just to take a small amount away from that bottom corner there grabbing my string, running a finger and thumb down it to check for any lumps or nuts. Wheel going as slow as possible. Cutting through, stopping the wheel, scraping my hands off again just to be on the safe side, and lifting up and somewhere safe. So having chopped that piece off the wheel, I've got this pad of clay left on the wheel. It is okay to put a fresh piece of clay straight down onto this little pad here, so long as it's clean and dry and no moisture has gotten onto it. So this pad of clay is fine as long as both surfaces are clean and dry. Popping a fresh piece of clay down, a few pats, and starting again. So here we go again, I've got my cylinder. Uh, this time I'll go the opposite way to that one. So I'm gonna push inwards with the wooden rib as we work up to get something kind of curving in and then out towards the top. So again, just 
wetting the inside. And off we go. So starting down here, just squeezing inwards with that wood, slowing the wheel down a bit. And then just really flaring it out up towards the rim. So this is gonna just take a few goes. Again, starting down at the bottom, squeezing in to start with, and then by about this point here, starting to draw outwards from the inside. So again, just trimming a bit of that excess clay from the bottom corner there. Smoothing off that edge with a wet fingertip. And there we have it. So that's another one, slowing the wheel right down. Chopping through, stopping the wheel, cleaning my hands off and lifting up and off. As I said before starting that piece, you can put a fresh piece of clay down to this pad here. However, if it has gotten wet, so if there's any shininess or wetness on this pad of clay here, a nice quick and easy way to clean it off is just get the wheel going full speed. Use the edge of your thumb here. So pushing firmly down onto the wheel, starting in the centre, slowly working out from the centre to the edge. It may take a couple of goes, but just as long as you're slow and press fairly firmly doing that, this will leave the wheel head clean and dry enough for a fresh piece of clay. What you don't want to do is get any more water or anything like that on there because it's the water that makes the clay slide around. So this next one, I'm gonna go for a, what's referred to as a bamboo sort of effect. So just by kind of introducing little breaks in the way that I use the wooden rib on the outside, and I'm gonna divide this piece into three separate little segments with a raised ridge in between each one. So again, wetting the inside. So just squeezing in briefly and then pushing out to about here lifting off the wooden rib, coming up above that ridge that I formed there. Same thing again, so kind of swooping into the clay and then back out here. And one last one now, Just swooping in and then curving upwards and outwards and off the rim. Again, trimming tool on the bottom corner. So that's it for now, quite quick and easy. As you can see, just three different ways of turning a boring old straight-sided cylinder into something with a little bit more character. Um, as I said, there's a lot of flexibility to the clay. Uh, so just playing around with it, seeing what you can produce, sketching out ideas, that kind of thing before you get stuck in on the wheel and knowing what you want to make before you get started throwing will help as well. But there's also a lot of freedom to just play around with the clay and see what comes out of it. In future, we might make some more videos just outlining a few different varieties of form that you can make. But for the time being, we're calling it a day there. See you later.